Hi, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Today, uh, what we have in this video is our customer at the test site has changed the wind curve a little bit. And, you know, we we're at the point that the max charge rate on the batteries is 60 amps. So in the wind curve, the 60 amp value is written up around 170, if I remember correctly. So, you know, the clipper is going to stop this, if you watch the, if you watch the video, around 150 volts. So the resistance that's written in at that point is probably around 40 amps, if I remember correctly. So again, it's important to size your wind turbine and your battery bank and your solar and keep that maximum charge rate in mind. Now, you know, this shows our turbine does 1kW, you know, in, in not real high winds. You know, I think, again, 15 to 30 is what we were clocking out there on that day. But be aware that the turbine, you know, the heavy resistance value was written after we have the, the clipper configured in to control that thing. And it would make more power if we wanted it to. But this, you know, again, we're trying to make kilowatt hours uh, production over time while not exceeding the maximum inputs on, on the battery bank. At some point, we'll go ahead and put the loads on there and, and bring that resistance down below 150 volts so you guys can see those big numbers that excite everybody. But right now, you know, stay kind of stay tuned and stay realistic and quit looking at watts, start looking at steady kilowatt hour production. I think what we can bring to you and illustrate in this video is the consistent power output over time. If you start looking at some other videos in the power curve, you're going to see power up, power down, and it's all over the place. And mostly the power productions on these things are at the lower range. Look at the consistency and power output and how the hurricane vector is able to accumulate kilowatt hour production over time. Again, an illustration of why I think we sell the best small wind turbine on the market. Thank you, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. Till next time. Okay, well, I switched back to the original wind curve that I had done this morning on February 2nd. And uh, I have seen a difference in the amount of current being supplied to my battery bank. Uh, of course, uh, increase in wattage. Uh, occasionally, um, we are getting a green light telling me that AUX2 is turning on. I have that uh, set at 160 volts um, and also at uh, 20 eight six so uh, when the voltage or the there's 140 volts we see now at 700 and some watts um, whichever comes first it's doing its thing and it's turning on the uh, uh, PWM on the clipper and it slows the turbine down everything is being protected we are uh, producing uh, plenty of current to charge the battery bank and this is just the wind side of it uh, the sunshine is out and so we're receiving uh, good sun and good power so here we've got our thousand watt wind turbine and uh, we're uh, we're exercising it quite well in this uh, bit of wind that we've got here today uh, riding the wind curve is the most challenging. There's the green light you see up there and everything went down because it told the clipper to uh, slow down the turbine. It's on again there. You see we're at 150 volts there. Um, and uh, so it is coming and going as far as the AUX2 output controlling the clipper. Uh, so it's doing its thing. Uh, I've got the graph up, and the change I made was uh, right there at 10 o'clock uh, when I switched back to the first 
wind curve that I had written this morning. And so it's doing, it's doing much better as far as uh, the amount of uh, current and wattage that it's able to produce. We'll go up here and take a look at the PV and see what the, uh, the PV side is doing for us. And we can see that we got 35 volts coming in and we don't have anything set up in our chart here. So we'll go for, uh, we'll go for Watts and put that in. And we will go for today's date, which we've got half hour. Let's see, that's the wrong date. Let's grab it. Go to February 2nd. There we go. So since this morning, as you can see, the sun has come out and uh, is definitely doing its thing. We'll go to the half hour mark. And since midnight, all right, should go the other way, yeah, there we go. So yeah, as the sun came out this morning and has been coming along, highs and lows, uh, there we go. Got the wind power going at it at the same time. So yeah, 34 volts, 16 amps, 500 watts, and of course, 27.7 on the uh, on the battery voltage, and uh, it is doing quite well on the PV side also. So glad to see that glad to see that old standby is working. And back to the turbine, it's doing its thing, and we're producing anywhere from. 500 to 1,000 watts just kind of depends on how it wants to go into the wind. I'll go ahead and bring up the data chart one more time. And you can see we kind of peaked out there uh, for a little bit. And it's doing a pretty good job, I would say. So these batteries should be uh, charged up in no time. And at the same time, with that inverter running, of course, there's a draw. Plus the uh, uh, the other things, I've got a heater going on inside the building, and I've got uh, a couple of battery chargers charging some equipment inside the building. There's our green light again.